Hello, here's another tutorial on Microsoft Office Mix. This is part three, so there are two additional parts that you should watch before you get to this part. So again, Microsoft Office Mix is an add-in to PowerPoint for the Office 2013 package for Windows. As of this moment, they do not have a Mac version available. So you have a PowerPoint presentation here. You've got a couple of slides started. And again, to get access to the special tools for Office Mix, there's this new tab that is added to PowerPoint 2013 called Mix. So the normal PowerPoint tools that you would use from your home button gives you this particular ribbon and it's the usual tools that you're used to working with. So if I wanted to add a new slide, and I'm going to call this International Investing. And then I'm going to go to the Mix tab. And we already talked about quizzes. This particular presentation or tutorial is going to talk about screenshots and primarily screen recording. So screenshots are just the ability to take something that you have on a website and take a quick photo and then insert it right into the slide. So it's relatively simple. So I'm going to take a screenshot of one of my other pages here. And so we have a map here of Europe. Mix tab, screenshot. I find the appropriate map. And here's this map here. I can make this larger if I wanted to. I'm just using it for illustration. And so I now have inserted this particular image inside this particular screen. What I think is a little bit more effective is to actually do a screen recording. So we're going to go over to the home button and we're going to insert a new slide. And we're going to go back to the mix tab. And I'm going to do a screen recording. Now a screen recording gives me two items. First of all, here is my image. This is on any other website that I happen to have open on my machine. I have this toolbar up top, and when you know um, that you start to record, this toolbar will disappear for you. In order to get it back, you just have to take your mouse and hover it along the top area of your window, and it'll pop back. Uh, you have a pointer. You have audio so that you can set the audio on your machine. The select area I've already done, which is this is this particular area of the map, I could select any area I want by clicking the select area. I get this plus sign, and then I can highlight whatever area that I would like to highlight. And that becomes what's going to be on part of my screen recording. Now at this point, if I have everything ready to go, I click on the record button. It's going to count down, 3, 2, 1. And I'm now recording, so I can do a voiceover on this particular slide, and I can talk about, well, we're going to talk about international investing, and there's some other countries that are some have some great investment opportunities for you. Uh, France, Germany has a great economy, so uh, Spain, France, Germany, and also over into Ireland and England, those are other opportunities for investments so forth. Whatever it is that I would want to say. Again, to get the toolbar back, I just have to hover in this particular area. Notice that this is the stop button, but it also happens to be an area that is the timer. So it is actually timing what I'm talking about here, and so you can keep an idea of how long you're going on this particular slide. If I needed to pause and maybe do something else, I could do that, but if I'm all done recording, I just hit stop. There is the ability to pin this particular a toolbar to this slide and that you might want to do that that way it's always up there you can see what's happening but in case you don't want to I had it unpinned and that is just click on this pin uh, item here so at this particular point if we were done with this we have this and now what we have is we have that particular image that we highlighted I'm going to have my pointer on here that's going to move, and it has turned it into a little video or a screen recording with audio. And all I would have to do is press this arrow here, and this is the play and the pause. I can 
uh, take it to the very beginning to start over and I can take it to the very end the timer will count here uh, make sure you have your volume on if you are intending to have the audience uh, actually hear what's going on now I'm using a headset here so if I do play this you're gonna see the bar move across but you're probably not gonna get any volume So you can see that the bar is moving across here and in my headset I'm actually hearing the sound. You're not going to hear that because I'm recording into a headset so it's coming in through my ear and it's uh, not coming out there. So um, pretty much it. It's relatively easy to do. A lot of different reasons why you might want to do a screen capture on a particular slide. There will be another video tutorial that I do that is screen capture uh, on the entire PowerPoint presentation. But this is screen capture and screen recording on an individual image. I'll get my mouse back.